Hello everybody, I'm Chaz Draycott of Chaz Draycott Media, and welcome to Tower Simulator 3, a fun but challenging uh, traffic control simulator by the wonderful people at Feel There. I'm up here in the tower at the moment at the Houston airport in the United States, and it is a big old beefy airport indeed. This game is really, really fun for simulating air traffic control, but without all the sort of nerdy intricacies that would do it on a full simulation level, if that makes sense. So you don't have to do loads of paperwork behind the scenes, you don't have to do all the boring stuff. You can be up here and have a lot of fun with it, control aircraft that are on this airport, and have a great, great time doing it. You know, there's so much fun to be had up here. And at the same time, you get to see the aircraft out the window. You get to enjoy it as an aviation enthusiast, as an av geek, as we're often called. Or as just a simulation sort of enthusiast as well, you know. There's so much to look at. You can fly around the airports. You can see the aircraft up close. And it's a really great way to sometimes even just go plane spotting while getting involved from up here. You get all your radar screens, you get everything that can help you sort of monitor the airport, where everything's going to be. You've got your arrivals as well on a radar, and even your departures, everything goes through there. You can also manage strips as well, so you can move them about dependent on who you've cleared to which part of the airfield. There's a lot of intricate commands as well. The best way that this game simulates what you do as a controller is that you speak to the aircraft using your voice. You hold down a button and you speak to them and give them commands. The voice recognition is top notch, it's really, really quick. I'll give the command to this aircraft in a moment. United 1454 is going to runway 26 left. We'll give them a takeoff command in a moment and you'll see just how quickly you can speak and get it across clearly to the receiving aircraft and how they understand it. You can have a lot of cameras set about the airport as well if you want your own little viewpoints of certain areas, if you want to keep an eye on the action, if you want to just watch takeoffs and landings as well. You can separate these screens so they can be on other monitors on your setup too. So if you wanted to just have it so you could sit next to the runway and just watch the planes while you've got all your radar and stuff to your right hand side for example, that works as well. It's really, really good fun. These screens here as well show you all the taxiways so you'll always know where to sort of navigate the aircraft and tell them which way to go and how to get to their destination if they don't automatically do that themselves. The pathfinding is really good as well from the aircraft. They make logical decisions on where to go around the airport and the shortest routes. And if you don't have a fancy headset or a microphone, you don't really need a fancy one to be fair. Any sort of microphone will do as long as it's spoken into clearly and concisely. Even if you don't have one, there's a command screen as well where you can speak to different aircraft and tell them what you want them to do. You can click on them on your screens and then give them all sorts of commands from there so you don't have to use your voice all of the time. Okay so United in their 737 is just getting to the runway now so we'll give them a takeoff command from this runway. We'll go onto the screen and see where they are which is down at 26 left and we'll tell them United 1454 runway 26 left cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. And then the aircraft will Runway take off. They will then action that. Their landing lights will come on, their strobe lights will come on, they'll taxi onto the runway, and they'll get going. You can tell aircraft to line up and wait behind others, you can tell aircraft to go around if you need to, you can also tell aircraft to sort of wait on others or follow company. It's all really interactive, and like I say, it's just good fun. I know that air traffic controlling can be quite daunting as well, I'm sure many of you in the flight sim community know of the likes of VATSIM and how serious and professional it is, but if you want to do air traffic controlling and just have fun with it, Get Tower Simulator 3 by feel there. I've been playing this game for nearly two years now. It's transformed my YouTube channel, and I love just spending afternoons just sitting up here in a virtual tower and overlooking the airport. I still get to look at the planes. The models are fantastic, and so are the airports as well. There's not really anything better for it. If you're a good plane spotter or an av geek, it really is worth getting.